What I could be doing is marking up my map of this land. Haha. -ha. Um, for the Aeromites. Propagate. There's some literally in front of you. You couldn't at all attempt to hit these ones. Thank you. Look, not in the direction I wanted you to go in. At all. But that's okay. We're here now. We're here now. We may as well. Oh. What? Well, you've just missed one. Congratulations. Oh my god, I've missed two. Jesus Christ. How on earth are you supposed to get this one? Even then I can't get it. Oh god, the game was generous. Well, where's the final one? Huh? Where's the final... I don't understand. By the way, now I see that there's a bounty thingy. Wherever it was. Here. Where's the particle I've missed? Oh, it's freaking there. Oh my god. Make them hard to spot, boy, don't you? Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay. Where are we trying to get to? Why is the Sealy? Can anybody see the Sealy? I don't think I already did it, so he has to be here somewhere. I if I did already get him. Maybe I did already grab him. Maybe I'm too far away to see him. Oh! I didn't even think about getting my reward for finishing that. I was like, oh, we're done. <laughs> Is this an answer from this world? Go this way. This unlocks more of the things that I don't know the name of. They're just things. I can't see the Sealy, so maybe I already got him. Propagate. Yeah, I get it. There's a chest there. Whatever. There are a lot of chests up here. Maybe I should get them all. I am killing time after all. Uh, can I, are you worshipping that thing? Honestly, cannot be bothered. Aramites! Hi you two! I know you're on a nice little patrol here. But uh, I need, I need your scarves. Sorry. Thank you. Appreciate your demise. Okay, didn't even go back yet. Okay, we are taking out you. I want to put him in, but I still do not have a useful weapon. Although we. Ow, my elbow. We could just use him for the elemental reaction. To be fair, Shanha's weapon is absolute trash as well. So maybe I shouldn't be oh, I've got Ayaka though. I await your instructions. Let's just do that. I do think Pyro would be better, but whatever. Oh sure, it's going not at full health. That was a smart idea, Mish. Best idea you've had all day. Ow! My apologies. Propagate. Damn. You just took a lot of damage, girl. 
Oh, this is actually doing quite well. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. All we needed was another element of reaction. Because obviously the Electro wasn't doing it. <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed by my previous attempt. <laughs> oh, man. How many more? Plenty. Got plenty. Where else can I procrastinate? Probably, probably nowhere. I probably shouldn't be procrastinating anyway. Nah, let's do it. We need, we need, we need. Hi. Um, we need so many quests. One, two, three, four. Plus in Vanarana there are a bajillion. Ah, I should probably look at how to get to here, honestly. The ancient ritual grounds were buried beneath the earth amidst a cataclysm that tore heaven and earth asunder before being uplifted by the descent of an alien object and finally unveiled by a destructive battle that resulted from a betrayal. That is a goddamn long sentence. Nonetheless, those who once frequented this place are no more. Looks cool though. Uh, the Lost Valley. Th that looks pretty damn interesting compared to the crap I just went into last time. That's a cool domain. So I don't know how to get there. Could Google it. I could. Don't know that I really need it. Don't know that I really need it. Vermilion hereafter. Echoes of an offering. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. At this point, I'm literally wasting time. Oh, we never found out how to get to here. That's one thing we didn't do. Um, did I not? Or did that not even lead? Oh, God, we've got to be careful. The quest is there. I don't want to start the quest. But did we not discover this, this location? Do I have to go up? Ah. I can't see the footpath. Is it around the side? Oh. This looks like a puzzle. Also considering that that's there. Definitely looks like a puzzle. Oh, I don't think I can get in. Is it blocking the way? Yo, are you blocking the way? Yeah, yeah, you so are. Wow. Okay, well, let's temporarily take Ayaka back out and put you back in. Behold. And then. Hold up. <laughs> I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, actually, we may not be able to do this. Ah! Okay. And this. Uh, did not have the desired effect. I needed an Electrograna, and neither of you produced an Electrograna. Um, maybe I can't do this until I know the song that I don't know. Oh, hold on. It's telling me to play music. Yeah, I know. I was gonna, yeah. Okay, so you somehow make it possible for me to shoot that and head through. Right. Okay, we're never going to remember to come back here. Good to know. Good. To, okay, we tried. We can see that there is, in fact, an entrance there. We know because of the map that there is underwater there. I await your instruction. We just can't do anything with it as of this moment in time. Fair enough. I feel like it must be interesting under there. The fact that you can use a wave rider under there. I'm very intrigued. How big is it under there? But I can't do anything until I complete the nursery quest line. The dream nursery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. It is what it is. I don't think I've procrastinated nearly enough for three minutes. <laughs> oh, we can just click on it and see. I'm too impatient for this. Honestly, they should make it a shorter than three minute break. Because I just, I, who has the patience? Certainly not me. God, I can't believe this. I've, I've got to do this so many times. Ha! Spring forth! 
find the daily. Well, that didn't quite go to plan. Take flight. Huh. I swear by my sword. Scatter. Uh. She tried to scatter. Okay, give it another round. Unfortunately, she's not near enough to her Q ability. It's going to take another round. Interesting that your hyper bloom is not getting rid of that. This will get rid of it. Hell, just the elemental surrounding damage was doing it. I didn't even need me to attack it. I think my my Animo and my Hydro were just going to do it. Okay, I don't have enough to do another one. I would have to use my resin, which I don't feel the need to because I'm not in a rush. I mean, I am, but I'm not. See, I'm five short. Uh, yes, I might leave that as is. Uh, I might, however... Check that out. I don't think I get Prima Gems from it though. Which is kind of what I was looking for. But I don't think I get Prima Gems for completing quests that improve my reputation on the city. Uh, no. Oh, we only did two. Well, that's not nearly enough, is it now? <sighs> I was trying to get excited here. And the answer is no, you don't get problem gems. Fair enough. <sighs> Fair enough. How disappointing. I'm disappointed, Evendi. So, next time I play, which won't be tonight, because um, this is all taken significantly longer than I anticipated, uh, finishing the, the general design of the land, which I haven't even done, case in point. <laughs> I haven't actually finished it. Because I can't do these things without completing the Aranara shit. Really needed to have gotten it done before I moved to the desert. But just, I can't keep holding it off for my new characters. I really haven't gotten that one yet. Wow, Mish. Oh, that one? Wow, Mish. I know you use the Wave Rider, but that's just sad. Um, yeah, still wondering when that's going to become available. But yeah, no, nah, I need I need Sano. I need Candace. I need to explore the Egyptian looking desert. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, I really, really, really shouldn't be playing Genshin tomorrow because I have neglected every single game this week since I got back from bags. All I've played is Genshin around work. So I don't need to play some other things, not gonna lie, but I really wanna keep going, especially now that I'm at the desert. So I'm gonna teleport here. It's the quickest way to get to the Caravan Rabat. That is very bright. And then I'm going to activate this quest, though I'm not going to read what it says. We're going to do that next time. So, ah, going to the desert. It says, she says that she's a, a world quest just chilling behind her. But yes, I'm going to the desert. Finally. Only took an eternity. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go, Beto. Guys, it is time to finally, finally, after a lot of... Uh, not really procrastination on my part, but uh, time-consuming other things on my part. We are finally going to the desert! Just to note that uh, sore throat I had yesterday has in fact developed into the uh, typical post-convention illness. <laughs> so I have actually got a cold now, which is just great. Love that for me. Uh, my throat hurts. I, I can't speak as loudly as I normally would. And I'm, I dare say I sound a bit odd. I don't know feel like I'm talking as I would normally, so just something to see, keep, keep in mind as you watch the next, I don't know, bazillion episodes. Um, I am recording while I'm well, and I don't know how much of the desert I'm going to be able to do before my throat just becomes too much to talk, uh, but I'm too excited to hold it off any longer. I've been playing so much Genshin in the last few days just to get to this point, so I don't want to hold off any longer. I don't want to hold off any longer. Uh, and good news. I got a second Sino. I was trying to get more Candaces, but you know, we'll take a Sino. I ended up getting another Sayu, so we now have a C C6 Sayu, which is not what I wanted, but you know, it is what it is. So we have a 
See when I gonna admit his his ability isn't the best, but you know, I just want another sign on principle. So that's what we have. Uh, I don't know that I need to really go that way, but thank you. Have I been that way? I know I don't have a key for that because I used it in the other place. I don't know. Anywho, we are going to head on down. Oh, it could have taken me down. I'm over here now. We'll just go on foot, per se. Who are we even meeting here, by the way? The four at loggerheads. You have temporarily lost Nahida's help, but according to... Oh, that's right. According to the message she left behind, you will meet someone in the desert who can help you get out of the woods. Oh, yeah. Her last message was just, go here. Uh, nothing more than that. So I don't know who we're meeting. To foil the nefarious blot between the academia and the Fatua, you set off on another journey. Yes, well, journeying is all we seem to do in this game. It's like we know no other life course. Yeah. Point. I mean, it would look better. Uh, yeah, it would look better during the day. I mean, there's no reason why it can't be daytime. You know, that's that's the ability to do that is at my fingertips. Boom! Look at that. Bit of early morning sun hitting it. Beautiful. Let's follow the road. There's absolutely no reason to do so, but we're doing it anyway. So. Now we need to go on a scarab hunt and a plant hunt for Candace. You're all good Aramites, yeah? You're not gonna like arrest me? Oh my, there are things to see and do here. Hello, Ryla. Rayla? Ryla? Sorry, I thought she had two buns for a second there I was like what and that's just one every result has a reason and every reason has a consequence uh was it too difficult to understand ah it's fine that's what everyone thinks you're not the first and definitely not the last it's just like my research it doesn't matter if I think go forward or go backward the possibilities are always infinite you're carrying out research here it sounds reasonable but doesn't quite make sense in the meantime <laughs> that means you have reached the threshold of wisdom Good, good. You are clever. Even better than many scholars. Aha, a guide to ingenuity. I'll take that. Oh, damn it. Ah, shit. I've seen the shell in the corner of my screen. I'll have to wait till the scene's over. We finally made it to Caravan Rebut. It's pretty lively here. I don't know. They kind of stand there doing nothing, but sure. Look at that sand blowing through. Good lord. Who would want to live next so, to that much sand? Just past this wall is the desert, huh? Oh, wow. Ima remembers hearing people call this the Wall of Samiel. It's made to block sandstorms from the outside. Oh, if it's this tall, it's got to be the divine work of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? Maybe it's because I just haven't heard Paimon speak in a while because I've been doing unvoiced quests, but her voice sounds funny to me right now. Oh, it could also be that last time I heard Paimon's voice, uh, I was watching a video on Genshin and it was showing uh, an older Paimon and it had her original voice, which was a lot more pleasing to the ears. So that might be why she sounds so weird to me now. It is indeed quite impressive, truly awe-inspiring. Huh? Do we just stand to- Oh, gawking. hi. Come on, follow me. Wait, you're in cahoots with Nahida? That's the best thing I've heard all day. And considering I'm sick, the, the bar is set quite low, I'm sorry. But hey, awesome. I'm so getting rid of that shell. It's annoying me. There we go. Classic shell has been removed. Uh, hey, I did. I honestly did not expect to see Al Haytham so soon. I didn't think we'd see him until we get back to the city after the desert. Huh? I think he just casually walks past us. <laughs> Al Haytham, where did he come from? Over here. Ah. Oh, he's went that way. Let's hurry up and follow him. Wonder Bruh. what he's up to. Hold up. I got I got vendors to talk to. Hi, Amazia. Employee Gilded Journey. Nice. I'll call it a day and report back to my aunt. Huh? My aunt runs a hotel. There's only one hotel in Caravan Rabat, so it should be easy to find. I used to live in the city with my parents, but I really didn't have a thing for school, and it was annoying to be pushed by them every day. So I came here to work with my aunt. I learned a lot with her, and I'm getting more skilled at bargaining with vendors than ever. This is something you'll never learn from the Akasha Terminal. True! Putting things into practice are things that you'll never learn from the Akasha Terminal. 
you'll only be able to learn theory. Are you heading back? Mm, not now. I just passed a camp of the Eremites, and he was not there. Maybe he went to the hotel looking for me for a drink. To be honest, we some people like to drink, but I'm not used to alcohol. I would feel dizzy after just half a glass. Good, then don't drink it. But it'd be a lack of decorum to refuse an Eremite. No, no, there is absolutely no reason on earth why you should be forced to consume alcohol if you didn't want it. It could be true of literally anything. You should be forced to consume anything against your will, but specifically alcohol because of the uh, negative effect it has on the body. He often comes to invite me for a drink, and I should care about his feelings, not at the expense of your own, Mazia. I'll just stay out of his lap for now. Yeah, dude, you got about life real wrong. Real wrong. Baharak. His previous adventure failed, but it's not the right time to give up. Now that we have a sponsorship from Mr. Vikram. Vikram? Why is that name familiar? Vikram, Vikram, Vikram. It's bound to be successful this time. Mr. Vikram? Yes, the generous v Vahum Vahumana. Etiology researcher. He's very interested in the legends of King Deshret. Ah, Vikram, yes. And it's helped many adventurers. My adventure this time has been sponsored by him. I'm here to help, he helping him look for someone at Karen Rabat and pass out a message. But the Kali Skipper seemed to have received the Dusk Word and gone to Samaria City already. Did I get it wrong? Interesting. Last time, the time before, and the time before, before. It's always for the traces of King Deshret's kin. Oh, you're looking for a descendant. You're here at Caravan Rabat. I presume you've heard of the legend of King Deshret among the desert inhabitants. The true god of wisdom in the ancient times, he was long forgotten. I don't know if this is true or not, but it sounds like King Deshret was a god with many followers, right? So even if King Deshret doesn't exist anymore, there could still be some kin left. Like a dragon or something. I'm sorry, did this human man just breed a dragon? How does that work, Baharak? Use your noggin, please. Or perhaps Fox? Fox doesn't seem formidable to me. An adventurer should have high expectations. Let's say dragons, top of all elemental creatures. Of course, you can set a bigger goal, but better address the actual problem first. Anyways, my first little goal is not to get lost outside the Ari village just yet. The young lady in the village is quite kind, but it'd be embarrassing to trouble her all the time. The young lady? Well, she's a nice person. She helped me out when I was lost in the desert. When we first met, I was in shambles. She didn't recognize me in my green adventurer suit. She took me back to the village and gave me food and water after I explained to her what happened. And after that, I bothered her several times. So if you're in danger in the desert, head to Ari Village for help. She has a different color in each eye. <gasps> Candace! You know, at the side of her. So she's in Ari Village. There must still be traces of the Scarlet King's familiars in the desert. You were talking about descendants as kin, now you're talking about familiars? That would make more sense with the dragon, but, you know, kin? Kin, <laughs> kin insinuates descendants, so no. Hawad. I guess I'll rest around the pit stop once I'm done here. Too bad I can't see that flower again. Uh, well you are. Hello, I'm a traveling merchant who sells desert specialties. Unfortunately, I only brought back a few items with me this time, and they've been booked. Booked? What a weird phrase. But if you're interested, you can take a look for the moment. What are your best sellers? Adilinak nuts have been the most in demand lately. Adilinak, Adilinak nuts are a pretty common crop that the people of the desert used to plant. They make pretty good desserts. Nuts and desserts? That sounds horrible. I know people put pine nuts. Nope, peanuts. Peanuts and desserts, and while that's good for like a drumstick or something, beyond that, I would not have any nuts in my desserts. And Katie, because of the high sugar content. Sweets make people happy, so I guess that's where its popularity comes from. <laughs> Maybe, but I've got to say that consuming a nut never made me happy. Wow, crazy. But seriously. Because all I can think about is the fat content in nuts. And they help you gain so much weight. If you, if you have more than like five of them. So yeah, nuts never make me happy. I had researchers from the academia are even trying to find out which type of light produces sweeter. I deal with nuts. Is that right, nuts? I really look forward to the results. Technically it should probably be a nuts. You know, with that, that throaty sound at the end, but one, I'm English. I phrase that, I speak English. It's not a native sound to my language and two, I'm also sick, so it hurts even more.
And then we'll say, what flower? Ah, I'm going to go from here. She's, oh, she's a flower of this place. I only have to look at her smile from a distance that I feel cleansed already. But I heard that she's gone to Samaria City to look for her lover. What a pity. I don't even know her name. Well, neither do I, because I've heard of nobody looking for their lover. Sauce so, dude. Oh, he's over there. Ashia. Ooh, someone is uh, working on the loom over here. Working on a rug. My shopping went pretty well this time. I've almost bought everything I need. What are you buying? Nothing special, just some daily necessities. I live in Ari village near the desert. It does have a sufficient supply of underground water, but other supplies are not that sufficient. So I regularly travel to Caravan Rabat to purchase daily necessities. This place is close to the desert and packed with merchants, so it's convenient to buy just about anything here. About Ari village. If you head toward the desert, Western Desert from Caravan Rabat, you should pass by Ari Village if you don't stray too far from the path. Life there is simple and bound by some traditional rules and regulations, but I'm really fond of the unique comforts of the small village that it presents. Everyone in the village is very friendly. It doesn't matter if you're a lost adventurer or an exiled researcher. We're willing to take you in all the same. Of course, you must have no malice toward the village. Otherwise, prepare to face the wrath of Gandis. Yes, I imagine her wrath is formidable indeed. Hinjie. Dude, you're a little far from uh, Leo, don't you think? My friend, you can resupply here before you venture into the desert. I didn't expect to run into someone from Leo here. Haha, <laughs> to be honest, I didn't expect to stay for so long either. My plan was to try my luck in the desert and maybe make some money, but I found out that many had the same idea. It was only after they arrived here that many realized they forgot to bring this or didn't prepare that. I gave it some thought and decided to do business here in Caravan Rabat instead, and I specialize in giving adventurers a chance to resupply before adventuring into the desert. How's business? This isn't a mysterious product called Ultra Supreme Survivor Bundle Against Ultimate Sandstorm that occasionally takes on some of my business. I'm actually doing well. Luckily, the merchant who sells it is difficult to find and is barely seen, so it doesn't really affect my income. Now that I think about it, I was right to abandon my plan to venture into the desert. With substantial risks come with substantial profits, but one should not be blinded by the benefit and overlook the danger, don't you think? Yeah, no, that's smart. Excuse me, I'll hate them. Just let me grab this first. And I hope your name is Alhatham, not Alhatham, because I can never bloody remember. Ha, dude. What the? Where did she go? Wait, me? You're chasing me? Uh, how did we lose them? They were just here a second ago. What did I do to deserve such treatment? Obviously, the whole Nahida situation. The academia. More Aramite mercenaries? Who are they working for this time? Uh, anyway, traveler, it seems like we were being followed again. You were too careless. You should have noticed those hopeless amateurs trailing you a long time ago. Thanks, I'll hide them. We couldn't have shaken them without you. There's no need to thank me. I've never cared to keep track of personal favors. What a nice man. All I did was correct a mistake I happened to come across. It's a habit I developed at the Academia. You really gave Paimon a scare, I'll hate them. We never thought we'd run into you here. Last time we met at Port Ormos, didn't you say you were going back to the Academia? <gasps> Wait, don't tell Paimon that you're here to take us back on their orders! Oh, so you've already landed yourselves on the Academia's hit list. <laughs> I can't say that I didn't expect it. Y yeah, let's face it, it was coming. <laughs> However, had I wished to turn you over to the Academia, don't you think you'd already be the Eremite's honored guests by now? Yeah, Paimon, that much was obvious to me. Oh, right. Um, you do have a point. <laughs> do you participate in the Sage's big project? I have no interest in running errands for that project. As a scholar, I've always belonged to the camp that promotes researcher autonomy. <sighs> and these days, you're more fascinating than anything the Sages can offer. Ooh, he thinks I'm fascinating. <laughs> You'd be the only one on this planet. Uh, so you're actually looking for me? Hmm. Not quite. To tell you the truth, I'm still investigating the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Unfortunately, I've run into some difficulties. Would you care to elaborate? Everyone says the capsule originated in the desert and was eventually moved to Port Ormos. If I am to get to the bottom of this, 
I must understand how the capsule first came to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can follow your logic. Which brings me back to you and why you're so interesting. Yeah, please talk about me all you like. The leader of Ainul Ahmar used the Divine Knowledge Capsule right in front of you. And upon seeing him, your expression became perplexed and you were lost in thought for quite some time. To have that kind of reaction, I think you must have realized something. Are you interested at all in sharing what you've been hiding from me? Are you interested at all in sharing what you've been hiding from me? Tit for tat, my friend. It must be because I was so shocked to hear those words again. World, forget me. Oh, hey, Foom. You really have a ridiculous eye for detail. Perception, not till 20. Even notices or remembers stuff like that. Uh, someone who is very invested in that kind of situation. Situation a little complicated. I can't share what I know just yet. I mean, you totally could. This guy is not a threat to us, as far as I can tell. So that's your answer. Uh, don't look at me. Hmm. I would have told you well, if I had the choice. I do work for the academia, after all. Yeah, but you're not so really... So considering that, mm. it is indeed wise to keep your cards close to your chest. I mean, on one hand, it's always possible that you can backstab me because you work for the academia, but at the same time, like, you don't seem to be on the Fatui's uh, payroll, so... I'd be okay with telling you. And the fact that you're likely going to be a character I can get further down the track fairly solidifies the fact that you are not my enemy. Bit of meta-knowledge, but still. But that does prove you do have some undisclosed information about the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Am I right? Uh, I wouldn't say my knowledge pertains to it directly. Peripherally, perhaps, but the whole world, forget me, comes from a, a bigger source than the capsule, so eh. <sighs> no matter. Sorry. Rather than simply learning the answers from you, I'd still prefer to investigate on my own. Speaking of, you two are also headed to the desert? So you're not in cahoots with Nahida, so then who does she want us to meet here? Or, or, did she foresee Alhatham coming here? And that's what she meant. Oh, so hard to tell. That's right! We have the same plan as you! But we don't really have any concrete goals at the moment. Explore Paimon. Enjoy everything the desert offers. Then I'd suggest starting with Aru Village. I mean, it's... It's the largest settlement yeah. in the desert. So it'll probably have more resources and intel than anywhere else. Well, would you like to head there together? I mean, absolutely. But, I mean, that was kind of the plan already. Not going together, just going to Ari Village. Because they've pretty much been telling me it's the closest thing to me in the desert. So, it's a good starting point. Sounds good. Let's head there together. Then. It's always better to travel with someone you know. Let's go! Well, yeah, traveling with strangers can get awkward. Okay, well, I have to finish chatting to everybody. Mariam, owner, Gilded. Ah, this is the hotel. Hello, dear. Do you need a place to rest? Do I get options? We are stuck in a very awkward conversation here. Hello? I can't get out of this conversation. Am I going to hard quit the game? Jesus, that was weird. What is this place? This is the Guild Journey, and I'm the owner of this hotel. Don't worry, I won't demand an exorbitant price just because I own the only hotel in Caravan... Rabat. Oh, is there maintenance or something? Maybe there's maintenance. But don't games usually give you a heads up when there's going to be maintenance? I've never had the game do this before. But that would explain why I had that moment. Huh. This is awkward. Or is my internet the problem? Oh, hard to tell. Let me, let me do some uh, digging. 